Hello everyone, this is Anita, aka Knit from Knit's Creative Corner dot blogspot dot com and um, this is a shadow box that I made for my sister for Christmas when she was younger she used to be a ballet dancer and when I saw this um, shadow box online um, I knew I had to make one for her because she will love it now I copied um stole <laughs> um, this design from Donna's place um, I almost copied it verbatim for what she did it was such a great design and uh, her blog is uh, Donna's Place Zero One dot blogspot dot com, and her name is spelled D A W N A Donna's Place. I will have the link listed below, um, but it it is just so beautiful. It was very time consuming, but I know it's so worth it, and. Um, Oh, I should have had it going behind the top here. Let me see if I can turn it a little bit. I don't know. I actually put a music box on the back of it, playing the Sugar Plum Fairy. Um, I can't remember where I got that music box. I'll, I'll try and find that link, but you can buy them online. Uh, just look up little music boxes but the paper is all from graphic 45's nutcracker suite and I pretty much use that solely I put a little bit of ribbon down the bottom that gold is just some ribbon I got at Michael's and I hung some little plastic white beads that I got at Michael's in the wedding section and those are little bells, and some little blue bling is uh, kind of at the top of the white beads. And the little girl is part of the paper collection. Is that Clara? I don't know Nutcracker, Nut the Nutcracker too well, but I, th I think her name is Clara. Um, and then I made this little green flower and cut the Nutcracker out of the paper. And the inside of the shadow box is also hand cut from the paper. Now the windows was a stamp that I have had for years and years and years. And it is a penny black, 1997. Um, but it was actually, let me just show you, that was the window originally, but it was so big I cut it down to make it fit more inside of the box 